Welcome. Today we're going to do a demo for you on a Kellenberger Universal Cylindrical Grinder. This is a model 1000U, currently wired for 220 volts. It's got a magnetic uh, paper band filter here. Not magnetic, but a paper band filter goes with it. And some accessories that we'll talk about later. So this is a model 1000. That's approximately 36 or something inches between centers. Also, this machine has factory riser blocks. So we've got somewhere around nine and three quarters, almost uh, about 19 inches, or 18, 19 inches of swing there. So this is a, this could be a, uh, handle a pretty big piece of work. The wheel head on here has the ability to uh, be worked up and down, although many people just don't bother to do that. It also can be revolved, rotated around. 180 degrees uh, for an ID grinding spindle which is back there and the machine has a special mode that you use when you're ID grinding. Now the workhead here has a variable speed uh, DC motor and DC drive that I can slow down and speed up over here. Now this has a spindle in there with a Morse taper number 5 bore so the tooling that goes in there is always a Morse taper number five, in this case a reduction sleeve from Morse taper number five to Morse taper number three. And if you were going to use something like a chuck like this, you'd have your Morse taper number five faceplate mounted to the chuck and then a through the spindle drawbar to hold it in there. All right, so I have this running, the grinding wheel is running, the hydraulics is running, I'm going to stop the table now and back up the hand wheel and retract the grinding wheel. So a cycle would be uh, to come forward here, get your table moving, get your work in there, and then get your workpiece moving. And as we go along here, you'll see that we feed each time down to a dead stop. You have a fine adjustment here that you actually move the, the solid stop a little bit to give you an extra, well it's calibrated in millions, so it's pretty fine. And you see how that moves along there each time we feed. Now I can speed the table up. Or I could do this by hand. And as you close this down, you get less of a feed. So it's pretty fine. <clears throat> you can also lock the hand wheel in position if you were uh, doing something where you needed to do that. You also have the ability to stop the feed and uh, or, or wrap it to feed down to your workpiece. Now in the plunge grinding mode, well this is your mode selector switch up here and you've got different modes, basically plunge grinding, hand grinding, and uh, your, your, your traverse grinding with your feeding on the left or feeding on the right or uh, feeding on both sides. So in the center position here, you actually free up this hand wheel. Now you can, you can come in to set up your workpiece. You also have a clutch here where you have a, a coarse and a fine feed for the, in, for, for the hand wheel. Also for your table here, there's a coarse and a very fine. This is your fine and this is your coarse. Uh, let's see what else. Headstock obviously uh, swivels, as does the wheel head, swivels here. Also goes up and down, we spoke about that. Here's the tailstock, uh, table adjustment for taking out taper. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a plunge grind. The plunge grind, we don't want our table, so I'll shut that off. And uh, let's see here. Well, now you see we feed in here continuously <clears throat> until we get down to zero. This is taking quite a bit off and I'm going quite fast. But now you've reached zero, so when, once you get done sparking out and back up, you can just put this back into neutral, so to speak, 
and then re-engage that and you'll have a much shorter grind you know we only want to set that for a few thousands past what your actual stock removal would be this adjusts your dial when you loosen this you can adjust your dial uh, so there you have it that's the the Kellenberger uh, model 1000U cylindrical grinder this machine is made in Switzerland again it's 220 volts we've got this tooling here we've got a uh, an Eclipse, a uh, nine inch Eclipse chuck with the, with the proper backing plate on there already. And also a, uh, I don't know, 18 or 12 or something inch, it's not a quote, uh, face plate, slotted face plate. A wrench is there to take your grinding wheel off and pop it off the spindle. Some drive dogs. Uh, I failed to mention that we, this is also a dual spindle on the other side of the wheel head. Let's take a quick look back at the machine. You can mount a face wheel on here. Uh, we have the wheel guard with the machine plus the special wheel hub that goes on here and a diamond wheel and you can mount the wheel guard on here and you can have the wheel facing this way or the wheel on the bottom where you actually use this as a surface grinder believe it or not uh, that's what they did or do there's your ID spindle on the back there you can just barely see it poking out <clears throat> so that's what this is this is your guard this is your guard for your other wheel that could go here. Or it could go like this if you were going to do some kind of surface grinding. We have a riser block for you to mount your tooling on. <clears throat> we have a, uh, a two-point steady rest. Uh, you have to make a dresser, of course, and mount it on that, that, that thing there to keep it the right height as the, as the grinding wheel. And this is a uh, option that goes on the top of the tailstock and will, can swivel out of the way and swivel down and it's a diamond dresser adjustable with the micrometer. That's pretty nice to have. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up. There you go. Thank you very much.